Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is History of India. Question number 1. The word Hindu as a reference to the people of Hind, India, was first used by Option A. The Greeks. Option B. The Romans. Option C. The Chinese. Option D. The Arabs. The correct answer is Option D. The Arabs. The name of India is a corruption of the word Sindhu. Sindhu is the name of the Indus River, mentioned in the Rigved. Neighboring Arabs, Iranians uttered as H and called this land Hindu. Greeks pronounced this name as Indus. Question number 2. Who among the following was a Brahmavadini who composed some hymns of the Vedas? Option A. Lopamudra. Option B. Gargi. Option C. Lilavati. Option D. Savitri. The correct answer is Option A. Lopamudra. Other Brahmavadini are Vishayayara, Sikta, Nivavari, Ghosha, and Maitreyi. Question number 3. In Sanskrit plays written during the Gupta period, women and Sudra speak. Option A. Sanskrit. Option B. Prakrit. Option C. Pali. Option D. Saurasani. The correct answer is Option B. Prakrit. In Sanskrit plays of Gupta period, women and Sudras speak Prakrit and elite class speak Sanskrit. Question number 4. The name by which Ashoka is generally referred to his inscription is Option A. Chakravarti. Option B. Dharma Deva. Option C. Dharmakirti. Option D. Priyadarshi. The correct answer is Option D. Priyadarshi. In the year 1915, near a village called Muski in Raichur district of Karnataka, a rock inspiration was discovered on a hill. In this inscription, for the first time, the name of Ashoka was found with titles like Devnamapriya and Priyadarshi. It was then certain that Devnamapriya Priyadarshi was no other than Ashoka. Question number 5. The term Yavanapriya mentioned in ancient Sanskrit texts denoted. Option A. A fine variety of Indian Muslim. Option B. Ivory. Option C. Damsel sent to the Greek court for dance performance. Option D. Pepper. The correct answer is. Option D. Pepper. Yavanas were Indo-Greeks. They liked pepper, that is why pepper was known as Yavanapriya. Question number 6. Bronze icons of Nataraja caste during the Chola period invariably show the deity with Option A. Eight hands. Option B. Six hands. Option C. Four hands. Option D. Two hands. The correct answer is Option C. Four hands. The four-handed bronze icon of Nataraja is the finest example of Chola sculpture. Question number 7. According to ancient Indian cosmogonic ideas the sequential order of the cycle of four akans, yugas, is Option A. Dwapara, Krita, Treta, and Kali. Option B. Krita, Dwapara, Treta, and Kali. Option C. Krita, Treta, Dwapara, and Kali. Option D. Treta, Dwapara, Kali, and Krita. The correct answer is Option C. Krita, Treta, Dwapara, and Kali. A complete yug starts with the Satya Yug, Krita, via Treta Yug and Dwapara Yug into a Kali Yug. Question number 8. In the context of ancient Indian society, which one of the following terms does not belong to the category of the other three? Option A. Kula. Option B. Vamsa. Option C. Kosa. Option D. Gotra. The correct answer is Option C. Kosa. Kosa was used for treasury and the rest of the three terms were related to the family. Question number 9. Who among the following is known for his work on medicine during the Gupta period? Option A. Saumilla. Option B. Sudraka. Option C. Shonka. Option D. Sushruta. The correct answer is Option D. 
Sushruta. Sushruta Sahita was written by Sushruta. He was said to have been the best surgeon during the Gupta period. Question number 10. Which one of the following sculptures were invariably used green schist as the medium? Option A. Maurya sculptures. Option B. Mathura sculptures. Option C. Bharhut sculptures. Option D. Gandhar sculptures. The correct answer is Option C. Bharhut sculptures. Question number 11. Which one of the following texts of ancient India allows the divorce to a wife deserted by her husband? Option A. Kam Sutra. Option B. Manavadharma Shastra. Option C. Shukra Nitisara. Option D. Arthashastra. The correct answer is Option D. Arthashastra. Arthashastra was written by Kautilya. In this book Moksha has been used for divorce. Question number 12. Which one of the following statements regarding Ashoka stone pillars is incorrect? Option A. These are highly polished. Option B. These are monolithic. Option C. The shaft of pillars is tapering in shape. Option D. These are parts of architectural structures. The correct answer is. Option D. These are parts of architectural structures. Ashoka stone pillars were meant to spread his dhamma, not the part of the architectural structure. Question number 13. Which one of the following scripts of ancient India was written from right to left? Option A. Brahmi. Option B. Nandanagari. Option C. Sharda. Option D. Kharosti. The correct answer is. Option D. Kharosti. Kharosti script was deciphered by James Princep, 1799-1840, using the bilingual coins of the Indo-Greek period. This in turn led to the reading of the edicts of Ashoka, some of which, from the northwest of the Asian subcontinent, were written in the Kharosti script. Question number 14. Which one of the following edicts mentions the personal name of Ashoka? Option A. Kalsi. Option B. Raminde. Option C. Special Kalinga Edict. Option D. Muski. The correct answer is. Option D. Muski. Muski. Surjara, Neturyo and Ude Golam inscriptions mention the personal name of Ashoka. Question number 15. The silver coins issued by the Guptas were called. Option A. Rupka. Option B. Karshpana. Option C. Dinara. Option D. Pana. The correct answer is. Option A. Rupka. Rupka was a silver coin of the Gupta period. 16 Rupka was equal to 1 gold coin. Question number 16. Which one of the following was a corporation of merchants in ancient India? Option A. Chaturvedi Mangalam. Option B. Parishad. Option C. Ashtadigaja. Option D. Manigrama. The correct answer is. Option D. Manigrama. A Manigrama was a large, influential guild of South Indian merchants during the period of Western Chalukya rulers in 10th to 12th century CE. Question number 17. Many of the Greeks, Kushnas, and Sheikhs embraced Buddhism rather than Hinduism because. Option A. Buddhism was in the ascendant at that time. Option B. They had renounced the policy of war and violence. Option C. Caste-ridden Hinduism did not attract them. Option D. Buddhism provided easier access to Indian society. The correct answer is. Option C. Caste-ridden Hinduism did not attract them. They embraced Buddhism because caste-ridden Hinduism did not attract them. Question number 18. Which one of the following pots handled the North Indian trade during the Gupta period? Option A. Tamra Lipti. Option B. Broach. Option C. Kalyan. Option D. Cambrai. The correct answer is. Option A. Tamra Lipti. Tamra Lipti or Tamra Lipti was the name of an ancient city on the Bay of Bengal corresponding with Tamluk in modern-day India. 
Tamralipta may have been one of the most India. Tamralipta may have been one of the most important urban centers of trade and commerce of early historic India, trading along the Silk Road with China, by Uttarapta, the Northern High Road, the main trade route into the Middle East and Europe, and by seafaring routes to Bali, Java and the Far East. Question number 19. Which one of the following ancient Indian records is the earliest royal order to preserve food grains to be utilized during the crises in the country? Option A. Sohagora Copper Plate. Option B. Ramin De Pillar Edict of Ashoka. Option C. Prayaga Prasasti. Option D. Maharoli Pillar Inscription of Chandra. The correct answer is. Option A. Sohagora Copper Plate. The earliest known copper plate called Sohagora is a Maurya record that mentions famine relief effort. It is one of the very few pre Ashoka Brahmi inscriptions in India. Question number 20. The concept of white fold path forms the theme of Option A. Deepav Masa. Option B. Divyavadana. Option C. Mahaparnibban. Option D. Dharma Chakra Pravartana Sutta. The correct answer is Option D. Dharma Chakra Pravartana Sutta. The Noble Eightfold Path is one of the principal teachings of Buddha, who described it as the way leading to the cessation of suffering dukkho and attainment of self awakening. In Buddhist symbolism, the Noble Eightfold Path is often represented by means of the Dharma Wheel Dharma Chakra, whose eight spokes represent the eight elements of the path. The Eightfold Path includes right understanding, right speech, right livelihood, right mindfulness, right thought, right effort and right concentration. Question number 21. From the 3rd century AD when the Hu invasion ended the Roman Empire, the Indian merchants relied more and more on the Option A. African trade. Option B. West European trade. Option C. Southeast Asian trade. Option D. Middle Eastern trade. The correct answer is. Option C. Southeast Asian trade. After the 3rd century, AD Roman Empire came to an end. Indian merchants meanwhile had begun to rely more heavily on the Southeast Asian trade. Question number 22. Which one of the following was initially the most powerful city-state of India in the 6th century BC? Option A. Gandhar. Option B. Kamboj. Option C. Kashi. Option D. Magadh. The correct answer is. Option D. Magadh. Of the 16 Mahajanapadas, Magdha, Kosala, Vatsa and Avanti were more powerful. They fought amongst themselves for years and ultimately Magdha emerged victorious under Bimbisara, Haranyak dynasty, in 6th CBC. Question number 23. The Indolos kingdom set up in northern Afghanistan at the beginning of the 2nd century BC was Option A. Bactria. Option B. Asidia. Option C. Zedrasia. Option D. Arya. The correct answer is Option A. Bactria. Bactria was the ancient civilizations of Iranian peoples. Ancient Bactria was located between the Hindu Kush mountain range and the Amu Darya River, covering the flat region that straddles modern-day Afghanistan and Tajikistan. Question number 24. The term Aryan denotes Option A. An ethnic group. Option B. A nomadic people. Option C. A speech group. Option D. A Suiria race. The correct answer is Option C. A speech group, Aryan is in fact, a linguistic term indicating a speech group of Indo-European origin, and is not an ethnic term. Question number 25. The practice of military governorship was first introduced in India by the Option A. Greeks. Option B. Shakers. Option C. Parthians. Option D. Mughals. The correct answer is Option A. Greeks. Greeks first introduced military governorship in India. They appointed their governors called strategas. Question number 26. 
Hoesala monuments are found in Option A Hampi and Hospar Option B Halebid and Belur Option C Mysore and Bangalore Option D Shringeri and Bharwad The correct answer is Option B Halebid and Belur The capital of the Hoesalas was initially located at Belur but was later moved to Halebid Question number 27 Who among the following presided over the Buddhist council held during the reign of Kanishka at Kashmir? Option A. Parshva. Option B. Nagarjuna. Option C. Sudraka. Option D. Vasumitra. The correct answer is Option D. Vasumitra. Vasumitra and Ashtavaghosh together presided over the fourth council. In this council Buddhists were divided into Mahayanists and Hinayanista. Question number 28. Which one of the following animals was not represented seals and terracotta out of Harappan culture? Option A. Cow. Option B. Elephant. Option C. Rhinoceros. Option D. Tiger. The correct answer is Option A. Cow. Cow. Camel. Horse and lion were not depicted on seals. Unicorn bull was the animal most commonly represented on the seals. Question number 29. Which one of the following statements is not correct? Option A. The statue of Gomteshwara at Shravana Belagola represents the last Tirthankara of Jains. Option B. India's largest Buddhist monastery is in Arunachal Pradesh. Option C. Khajuraho temples were built under Chandela kings. Option D. Hoyasaleshwara temple is dedicated to Shiva. The correct answer is Option A. The statue of Gomteshwara at Shravana Belagola represents the last Tirthankara of Jains. The statue of Gomteshwara was built in deference to Jain deity Bahubali. It does not represent the last Tirthankara of Jains. India's largest Buddhist monastery in Tawang Monastery located in Arunachal Pradesh. It is the second largest in the world after the Potala Palace in Lhasa, Tibet. Question number 30. In ancient Indian Buddhist monasteries, a ceremony called Pavana used to be held. It was the option A, occasion to elect the Sangha Parinayaka and two speakers one on Dham and the other on Vinaya. Option B. Confession by monks of their offenses committed during their stay in the monasteries during the rainy season. Option C. Ceremony of initiation of new person into the Buddhist sandhai in which the head is shaved and when yellow robes are offered. Option D. Gathering of Buddhist monks on the next day to the full moon day of Ashada when they take up a fixed moon day of Ashada when they take up a fixed adobe for the next 4 months of the rainy season. The correct answer is Option B Confession by monks of their offenses committed during their stay in the monasteries during the rainy season Pavana is a Buddhist holy day celebrated on the full moon of the 11th lunar month it marks the end of the month of Vasa sometimes called Buddhist Lent this day marks the end of the rainy season in some Asian countries like Thailand where Theravada Buddhism is practiced on this day Each monk must come before the community of monks and atone for an offense he may have committed during vasa. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.